Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and it's January 2016 and you may have got yourself a new Android device for Christmas or treated yourself for the new year and what we're going to be looking at today is my 5 favourite launches available for Android for January 2016. Now this is going to be a mixture of some of my favourites plus some that I've seen on social networks such as Google Plus or that some people are talking about on the web and they offer a really great way to customise your Android device just a little bit more than the manufacturer intended. It allows you to use custom icon packs, change grid sizes or completely change up the way that your Android device looks and we're going to be looking at some of the top five today. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so first up then we have Action Launcher 3, and this is one of my favourite launches of all time. It's got some really nice features as well, including Quick Theme, which allows you to take some of the colours from your wallpaper and apply them to your application drawer, folders, search bar, and also the Quick Draw. You've also got the Quick Bar at the top, which allows you to add some applications. So as you can see on mine, I've got Google Search, Facebook, Instagram, and the Play Store, so I don't need to go hunting around for those applications. You've also got some really nice additions in terms of covers and shutters, and covers allows you to you just have one application which acts as a folder so if you want all of your social applications to be under the Facebook icon then you can do and then when you swipe up on that icon it's going to open it just like a folder would you've also then got shutters which allows you to swipe up on an icon that has a widget and give you quick access to that information without actually having to have a widget on your home screen which is really nice if you like a really minimal design you've also then got the quick draw which allows you to get an A to Z list of all of your applications with a swipe in from the left hand side plus you've got all of the other awesome features that a launcher should come with like icon packs and changing the look and feel of your home screen by changing things like grid size. This is definitely one of my favourite launches of all time. Now Apus Launcher wasn't really on my radar until someone mentioned it on Google Plus so I thought I'd have a look. Now it does bring with it a really unique look and feel to the actual launcher itself and also has some cool features to it as well such as Apus Boost which is basically a button that allows you to help clear RAM on your Android device to help speed it up ever so slightly. You've also got the search function which also search the web, applications, games and everything that you really want to look for. You've also got Apus Discovery which is basically to find applications that other people are going to be using near you so again if someone's using a certain game or a certain application around you and it seems quite popular then this application will actually then recommend it for you you've also got some really nice hd wallpapers built straight into the launcher as well and you can also download themes as well to help customize your home screen completely you've also got your app drawer which has all of your applications listed in different folders and again it's really easy to switch through these folders to find exactly what you're looking for now you do have some bloatware in my opinion that you don't necessarily need so you've got an app enhanced app application market which allows you to find hot and interesting applications that you may want to have a look at you've also got the apus toolkit which is basically things like widgets flashlight calculator notepad and more which again you don't necessarily need because they're already going to be built into your android device you've also got the power plus which extends your battery life by monitoring things like battery usage closing down applications and things like that in the background now apus launcher isn't necessarily the best launcher out there and it does come with a lot of bloatware but if you are looking to discover new applications and new things things for your Android device, then this is probably the best launcher to use. Arrow Launcher is a launcher made by Microsoft and it is actually quite good. Now some of the key features that you've got here is your applications are all grouped and they're actually grouped in a way that is based on your usage. So you don't have to go hunting around for those applications that you don't use on a regular basis as all of your most used applications will be front and center. You've also got a people hub as well which helps you easily find contacts and things so you can call or message them. And again you've got some different pages that you can get access to as well including reminders and also recent which quickly gets you back to recent photos photos, file downloads, or even any applications that you've been using. Now it's got some really nice things in terms of widgets as well. So again, it's compatible with all of your favorite widgets and it does have some built in as well. And it's also got a customizable dock, which also has some quick settings within it as well. Now you've also got Bing and custom wallpapers, which basically allows you to get custom wallpapers every single day direct from Bing, and it will automatically download them in the background. You've also got support for third party icon packs, which is great if you do want to use a third party pack, then you've got the ability to do so so it's also a really lightweight application so again it's not really going to be that ram intensive and again using the application i've not really found any troubles or any hiccups or anything and it does work quite well on my note 3 now again it is built by microsoft so it's going to try and push some of those microsoft applications on you however if you don't want to use them then you don't need to and it's just a really nice alternative to something like the google now launcher as it does have some really cool built-in features but it doesn't really have any of the bloatware of some other launchers out there 
Next up then is the Google Now launcher and this is the simplest launcher on this list. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing as it's how Google intended it to be on Android. Now you've got a swipe in from the right hand side to get quick access to Google Now, which again is really nice if you are heavily into Google Now and you use it on a regular basis. You've got quick access to search from every home screen that you've got and you've also got the OK Google hot word detection. So again, if you want to send a message to someone, make a phone call or just in general search for something, then you've got the ability to do so just by using your voice. You've got an A to Z list of your applications as well in a really nice vertically scrolling app drawer taken straight from Android Marshmallow and again you've got some app suggestions which will be at the top of that list in terms of frequently used applications or just in general applications that you use on a regular basis so again Google puts them front and center so they're really easy for you to use and that's actually kind of pretty much it with the Google Now launcher. Like I say it's a really bare bones launcher but it is how Google intended Android to be so if you want a really quick and really fluid experience then you definitely can't go wrong with the Google Now Launcher. And the last one we're going to be looking at is my personal favorite, and that is Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime, which is the paid version. Now, this is a great launcher, and it has tons of different features to it. Now, you can use it for a variety of different things. I personally use it to get a really nice stock Android look and feel on my Android device, but some people use it to completely change the look of their Android device, so it doesn't even look like Android anymore. It's that diverse, and you can do that many things with it. You can see here from within the settings, you've got so many different things that you can change. You can customize the app drawer, you can change widgets, backup and restore, you can change the way that the dock works, you can change loads of different things about it, and it's just one of the best launchers out there at the moment. Now, like I say, there is a free version and there is also a paid version, so if you want to get the most out of it, I would definitely go for the paid version as it does give you some additional things that you wouldn't normally get. Now, some of the great things about Nova Launcher is changing your icon packs, and it's really easy to do so. You can see that it's just in the look and feel of these settings. You've also got subgrid positioning, which which allows you to actually put widgets halfway through the grid on your desktop to get a really precise look and feel to how you want to have your widgets laid out. You've also got controls and color options for things like the search bar, your folders, your app drawer, and pretty much anything that you can think of. You can also back up and restore different setups as well. And the best way that I found doing this is actually finding a setup that you like, backing it up to Google Drive in a specific Nova folder, and that way when you then restore your Android device or you get a new Android device and you want to install Nova Launcher, you can get that look and feel really quickly and really easily. Now, as I mentioned, it does get updated on quite a regular basis. And there's also a really heavy Google Plus community around Nova Launcher as well. So if you want any tips, tricks, or if you're having any problems or anything, then that's probably the best place to get answers. Now, as I say, Nova Launcher is one of the launchers that I installed on any non-stock Android device as soon as I get it. But if I do have a stock Android device, I'm going to keep it stock. But the one thing that I don't like about the Google Now Launcher on something like the Note 3 is it doesn't allow me to hide any applications, whereas Nova Launcher does while keeping that stock look and feel and that is gonna do it guys now as i mentioned all of these launchers will be linked in the description down below so if you want to download one for yourself and try it out then all the links will be just in the description below now if you guys have got any questions or comments about any of these launchers be sure to leave it in the comment section down below or on twitter at copper versus glass if there's anything that you think i missed off this list or a launch that you want me to have a look at in more detail then again let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to get some more great content from Copper vs Glass, including Android customization, apps and devices, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.